Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today. I thought I would do kind of a monthly favorite style of video. I've been kind of wanting to share the products I've been loving every single month, kind of trying to work this in to my schedule. So this is a lot of stuff that I have loved for the past month, especially last month in May. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these kind of favorites videos, if you rather see all the favorites, if you like to see favorites and fails. I could do that too, but I just thought I would let you know some products I have been obsessed with as of lately. I'm going to start with kind of the makeup favorites. This is going to be makeup and kind of hygiene fragrance, all the stuff I love. So first up, I had to give a shout out to my new favorite kind of primer. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin like balm powder I think it's what it's called and I did like a whole demo of this I fell in love the first day that I used it I actually started using it as like a foundation because I bought a tinted one in number three so I used this all over the face as a foundation it gave lighter coverage but it was so smoothing on the skin and the best part was that it kept me matte like all day I have oily skin so this really held the oils up and just made my skin look really good all day long I'll have to link that video down below. I like to use this as just an all-day kind of skin tint or I can use it as primer as well. I have it on as primer today just to kind of create a smooth flawless base but oh my gosh this is a really nice product especially if you guys have oily skin. I'm so happy it worked for my skin because I wanted to try the yummy skin line but I knew like everything else in the range probably wouldn't work for me like the primer and her yummy skin foundation but this was definitely a win. A foundation that I've been loving especially as it's gearing up into the summer months is this one from Kosas. It's the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with SPF 25. I also have a demo on this one but I really enjoy this. It's kind of my go-to as of like everyday foundation. It gives a nice I would say medium coverage. It's not too light. It's not too heavy on the skin. I love that it has the SPF benefits and I think it lasts really well even for oily skin. I wouldn't say it's like super mattifying. I would say it's probably the best for combo skin, but it works for me even in the summer months. It even has skincare in the formula, so I love that. I'm helping my skin even when I am wearing my foundation for the day. I have the shade Light Neutral 140, and I do have this one on right now. So this one is light with subtle pink undertones. I know Kosas was running a pretty good sale. It was 20% off for I think a week or so. I don't know if it's still going on. If it is, I'll have it linked down below, but a lot of the foundation shades were already sold out. I think there was also a way to save an extra 10% on top of that if you've never shopped on their site before, but yeah, I'll have all that info down below, but definitely recommend checking out their foundation. Even if you guys have oily skin, I think it may work for you as it does for me. You guys probably knew this was going to be in here, but I had to include the Charlotte Tilbury new Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Cream Bronzer. I also did a a video on this one. I actually bought two shades. This one's fair. I also have the medium, so if you guys want to see the differences, definitely check that out. I have been gravitating more towards the fair, though. I will say I have it on it today, and I think it just looks so natural. I love that this is not too creamy, where it's going to blend too much into the skin and I can't see it. It has a little bit of a thicker feel, but I love that I can actually see my bronzer when it goes on. It doesn't disappear. It works well over powder, over your foundation, whatever way you want to wear it. It's not difficult at all. It just is so easy to blend out. So I have been wearing the Fair, which is the more cool tone. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you too. But I had a feeling I was going to like it. I just, I love Charlotte Tilbury cheek product. She does such a good job. It's not as glowy as you would think. I don't really feel like it's radiant at all. It's pretty matte in my opinion on the skin, but I think maybe by the radiant beautiful skin or glow that she's talking about is just because usually cream products do offer more of a glow than like a powder bronzer, but don't be scared of the glow name, especially if you do have oily skin. I think it's actually pretty matte, but this is my new favorite cream bronzer. I am obsessed. I did try a new powder bronzer this month too that was also very good. I had to include it. This one's from the drugstore. It's L'Oreal and they just came out with these new fresh wear bronzers 
one of the best bronzers at the drugstore. It seriously performed like high end. I was very impressed because it's always hard for me sometimes to find a good drugstore bronzer that doesn't look orange, doesn't get patchy. This one blended so good. I bought the shade light medium. I found this at Walmart. I recently saw it again at Walgreens, so it is hitting the stores. I think Ulta also has it online, so it is pretty easy accessible, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the light medium shade if that is one that you like. This is what it looks like on me and then blended. I could probably even go a little lighter if I wanted to in shade, but this one worked well and I just really liked how easy it was to blend out on the skin. Definitely a winner and you can't beat those drugstore prices. Okay, blush. I also have two blushes. I wanted to shout out the new ColourPop. This was from their, oh my goodness, what is it called? Whatever their cowgirl collection was. This is so cute, and this is the Prairie Air Blush. I love this because it is a bright pink. I put this one on today, and I love the brightness it gives the cheeks. It's really similar to the Dior Rosy Glow Blush that went viral and was sold out for the longest time. This is a much more affordable option, but these bright pinks make you look so youthful. They just give life to the cheeks. This is what it looks like swatched, but it's definitely buildable. As you guys could see and it's not too intense that you're gonna look crazy with this on the cheeks right away um, but yeah it's easily workable into the skin and I just think it is such a pretty color had to include it in my favorites because I was really impressed by that another blush I cannot stop wearing is from one size these are their cheek clapper blush trio so these actually come with three shades I have the shade very that and the first one is a cream it has a little cover on it this is a powder and then it has this more luminous option as well but very that is the best color in my opinion it is the lightest one but it is crazy pigmented like these blushes are insane I'm a pretty big fan of the one size line I think they come out with some really stellar products and the best thing is they're actually more geared for people who do like full coverage and who do have oily skin so right up my alley it's actually Patrick Starr's brand that is at Sephora but I really can't get enough of this blush it's so so pretty I'll go ahead and swatch the cream so I go in with the cream first in this formula again it works with anything on the face it works with powders it's so easy to use and very pigmented it reminds me a lot of the Patrick Ta cream blush duos so that is the cream and then you go over with the powder or you can use them separately it has the little smiley faces inside this actually brightens it up a lot like this is very peachy pink and it will add a ton of brightness to the cheeks so beautiful together and then the highlighted one i don't use this one a lot but this is another kind of peachy tone but you guys you guys know every time i wear this i'm always getting some compliments from you guys in the comments it's so beautiful and such an easy formula to work with i don't know if i would buy any more shades just because the other shades look really dark and this already is such a pigmented formula so i'm really happy with this one and i would recommend it if you guys are my skin tone i do have a new mascara fave and it's drugstore the drugstore always has awesome mascaras but this milani one is seriously out of this world this is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara i don't know what it is it's magical this wand it has like this curved hourglass shaped wand it just really lengthens the lashes also volumizes does not clump and does not smear on the lower lash line even in the hot summer months it's seriously one of the best definitely better than a ton of high-end mascaras. Milani, they just, they really kill it in the drugstore area. It's one of my favorite brands to get at the drugstore. So definitely check this one out if you're looking for a good summer mascara. Next up, we have eyeshadow palettes, which is always a hard category for me because I am a palette lover, but I narrowed it down to my most, like, I guess, top two palettes used of the month, which are actually kind of surprising because these are brands I don't talk about very much, especially their eyeshadows, but I was sent the six new mod palette and I cannot put this down I have a favorite look I'm actually wearing it today I switched it up a little bit but I am always wearing this vintage shade it is beautiful I've worn it in a few videos 
always get questions from you guys what I have on my eyes whenever I have that look on but I was really impressed with this and I really haven't tried a lot of Sigma palettes I always kind of thought you know oh, they can't really be that great they're kind of most known for their brushes but I was very very pleased with how this palette worked out for me it has beautiful rosy neutrals and I'm always reaching for it for photo shoots for videos it's really stunning I have on avant-garde on my lids today there's just some really stunning shades in here but yeah I keep going for that same kind of bronzy taupe look using vintage I love the grunge shade in the outer corner There's some gorgeous shades in here and the quality was really easy to work with so I thought this was excellent the other eyeshadow palette I've been using a lot is actually from NARS so this is really exciting I feel like NARS palettes have really started getting good especially in the last year I bought one last fall with the red packaging I can't remember I think it was called the climax palette and it was so good so I really wanted to try their new summer unrated palette it really is beautiful I first did not get into it because I was like I mean I have these tones a lot it's just rosy neutrals do I really need this but yes the quality is so good it looks stunning on the eyes I'll insert some swatches for you guys here so you can see but I'm loving the rosy tones lately I know that's what like all the palettes are here it is next to the Sigma but there, there's a lot of rosy palettes out right now but these two have really stolen my heart I love these kind of pinky neutral shades but yeah I was so impressed with the quality of this one if you guys like that climax palette I feel like it's the same really easy to use NARS quality amazing blendable mattes the shimmers really popped on the lid so NARS has definitely been stepping up their game and I definitely recommend checking out their newer eyeshadow palettes because their quality really has improved this is such a pretty one all right lastly let's do lip products so firstly I wanted to mention what I have on my lips right now this is just kind of my easy grab-and-go kind of everyday nude this is from Dior I picked it up during the Sephora sale on a whim I just wanted a nice Dior lipstick so this one was part of their Dior addicts line it's it's called Beige Oblique and it's really just my lips but better. I love beigey nudes like this. This one adds some really pretty shine to the lips as well. So I've been wearing this one a ton. Love the formula. It's really nice and comfortable on the lips. Nice and hydrating. So definitely check these out. Especially the shade Beige Oblique is what I have and I really love this. Also was pleasantly surprised with this Sigma liquid lipstick. I got this with the Rosy Mod palette. This one's the new mod liquid lipstick. So it was in that same collection. When I looked at it, I was like, I think this is going to be too dark, but it really is the perfect rosy light toned pink to go with the new mod palette. So I've been pairing it with those different looks and I love the color. The formula is really nice on these as well. I do like liquid lipsticks because I love when I can put something on that I know is going to last all day without having to touch up. So this is usually what I go for when I need my lipstick on for a while. And I did not think this one was uncomfortable whatsoever. I just really love loved this shade and it was not drying it didn't make the lips look all cracked and any of that stuff it's a good formula one more I had to shout out another drugstore find these are the newer Maybelline vinyl superstay inks they're kind of like a glossy lip but they stain the lips which is really cool they're very comfortable as well but I absolutely love the shade cheeky this is such a pretty color it's kind of similar to the ones I've shown you but these are like my tones this one's a little bit cooler I would say but that's what it looks like like oh my goodness you guys have to check these out especially you can't beat the price Maybelline does a great job on lip products I feel like and yeah I was really impressed how pretty this was on the lips how shiny but it still left a stain there even throughout the day as I was doing my daily activities eating all that there was still a little bit of color left over so love this one especially the shade cheeky so the second half of the video this is gonna be kind of my hygiene and fragrance faves so Another newer affordable brand you guys have to check out. This was at Walmart. I did like a whole shop with me and discovered this line. It's by TPH, which is by Tarashi Henson. She also has a hair care line, but I really was impressed with her body care line. So you can find a bunch of her body care and they even have candles in the line at Walmart, which is crazy. It has really luxurious packaging. So this was the body cream and it even had a little seal on there. So you know no one messed with your products. But I've been really wearing this Watch Me Whip body cream all the time. It smells so good. This is the vanilla and tubero scent. It's a sweet kind of floral vanilla. It's almost a little citrusy as well. But 
Oh, this is such a creamy consistency. It's really thick. It feels very luxurious, but the scents are really strong. So I am really liking this line. I want to pick up more. So far, I have like it in shower moisturizer, uh, body oil, but I want everything in the line. I think it is all so good. There's a few different scents. I really like the vanilla and tuberose, and there's also a ginger one that is also very sweet and very good. So this line really impressed me this month. I am also a huge Sol de Janeiro fan, and I had to shout out their newer scent for last month which is the Chirosa 68 fragrance this is so pretty I picked up the body cream and then the fragrance mist because this one released a little bit later but the body cream is a little different than the original it has a thicker consistency it's a little bit harder to rub in I was pairing this a lot with Ariana Grande cloud and my Baccarat Rouge perfume and I thought they went super well together because it does kind of smell like it. And then they came out with the fragrance mist and this actually smells even more like Baccarat Rouge than the body cream does. The body cream kind of has almost a, a weird buttery scent at first. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I like having this to pair with those favorite scents, but I really was impressed with the spray, just how good it smelled and how similar to Baccarat Rouge it really is. I've actually been pairing all three of them together. I don't mind mixing my luxury perfumes with my cheaper ones. I feel like this sweetens it up even more. But yeah, this is actually very strong, very sweet. Has like that airy vibe, but also like a sweet cotton candy almost essence to it. It's so pretty. So I've been wearing these three together all month long. And then one more hygiene favorite. I had to mention this body scrub from Bath and Body Works. This one is from their aromatherapy line. And I feel like this is one of the best scrubs that they have had like texture and consistency wise. Some of their other scrubs can be very hit or miss, but I picked up the Love Coco Rose Shea Sugar Body Scrub. And this is so good, you guys. I love the texture of it. Uh, you can see here it has a lot of those oils in there to really hydrate the skin um, it does exfoliate enough and it's not too harsh it's like the perfect consistency and I actually do really like this scent it's not for everyone because this is a very strong rose scent it's like almost a powdered rose with a teeny tiny bit of sweetness like a dark chocolate in there but definitely heavy on the rose but I don't mind it in the shower I'm loving the consistency of this and it makes me want to try more of the aromatherapy scrubs they are just so so good and then I wanted to share just a couple candles I've been burning this month I really been enjoying so pink petal tea cake I've been burning I'm almost done with and this one I started burning again um, because it's coming back for some my annual sales so you should be able to get your hands on this on Monday the 13th it is such a good one another rosy scent but this is like a cake rose and it's super sweet. It burns flawlessly, super strong. The notes are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. I've heard the new one is also really strong as well. So definitely you have to snag this on Monday. I've just been burning the crap out of it this month. And another candle I've been burning a lot is the red, white, and blue cake. So another cake scent. I love the bakery scents, as you guys know. This has notes of red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. And this one... It's very cakey, but it's like, it reminds me of those 4th of July flag cakes, like the American flag cakes, where you have the vanilla cake, it has a whipped cream frosting, and then you have the little blueberries as the stars of the flag, and then the strawberries as the stripes. That's what it, like, reminds me of, and that's what it smells like. Like, I get the mostly blueberries out of here, but it's like a blueberry yummy cake. I really like it. I thought it was a really good one and it's been burning well for me so I've been using that one a ton this month. Almost done with that one too. So I think we've talked about like a ton of products here. Um, I figure I should end it on that to not go too crazy. But let me know if you guys want to continue seeing these videos if you want me to add in any fails I've had but I feel like I have just have so many favorites it's kind of hard. I'm really have, gonna have to narrow it down next month, especially with the body care stuff, because sometimes I can go overboard on that, but I'm always using so many different scents, but I just thought this would be a fun way to share with you what I'm using, what I'm loving, and hopefully you guys enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.